Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm here to answer your questions. Thomas from Maryland asks, is iron and fallout remover used prior to claying or after? This is a great question, Thomas. Iron and fallout remover is best used prior to claying or using a surface prep mitt, but after you've washed or cleaned the vehicle. The general process would be to wash the car and rinse the vehicle, dry it or leave it wet. However, keep in mind that the more water on the surface, the more diluted the product will be. Soak the surfaces down with iron and fallout remover. Typically, the rear of the vehicle and the rocker panels or belt line down on the doors is going to be the most contaminated, but you can spray it on the whole vehicle. Allow it to dwell for three to five minutes plus, depending on temperature, but do not let it dry. Agitate lightly with a ErgoWave foam scrubber or mesh mitten, and then rinse the surface thoroughly until the iron and fallout remover is completely clear from the surface. Using iron and fallout remover prior to clay or decontamination will make the entire process much quicker and easier and also add life to your clay bar or surface prep mitt. If you have a question you want answered, ask it in the comments below or in the Q&A section on griotsgarage.com. Thank you for watching and as always, have fun in your garage.